of the uh, uh, instruction that I uh, give to the kids is that they make their own tools and they're all presently working on their forge tools. Uh, like Max is working on his watering can. Uh, we have pokers and uh, like that little hole you see hanging there, they'll be making something like that. That one my grandson made. And uh, as soon as they get done with their forge tools, then, uh, then we've got other other things to go to from there. Uh, have, have been pretty much the same since the uh, back during the uh, uh, when metals were first discovered uh, in the early parts of the uh, uh, of history. Uh, of course, things have gotten better, and of course, the uh, development of the anvil now uh, that hasn't changed too much. That in probably over about a thousand years. Well, I came in and he was okay, blacksmithing, and it looks like fun. He yeah, helped it, me make a more. leaf once, and I still have it, and it was just really fun. What else have you made? Um, I still have to finish a watering can holder. I need to finish the handle. Um, I've made a poker. I've made miniature swords. So, how long have you been doing this? Um, uh, I think... It started last spring. Yeah. I made a poker, yeah. a center punch. Now this, um, well, not yet. I need the handle. <laughs> yeah, the handles and all the tools have to be different. Because when you're uh, grabbing for something, you don't want to have to decide, you know, if they're all the same, you got to decide which end you got to go with. Uh, I didn't mind. All the handles are different. So why did you start? I thought, am I making money for <laughs> So I wanted to start. He saw Emma making money, so he wanted to try it too. Uh, <laughs> what do your friends think of this? My friend Emily, she thinks it's kind of weird. <laughs> she thinks I'm kind of weird. <laughs> my, my teacher says that Whenever you make something kind of cool, bring it to, for show and tell. Hey, you better get some more heat in there, guy. Okay? 